What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have the keys to the latest generation for the Chevrolet Tahoe. This model is the Z71. Massive shout out and thank you to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. They have the largest selection of almost brand new inventory that I've seen. So definitely check them out. There's a lot to choose from. The Tahoe that you see behind me is finished off in iridescent white and it has a list price right around $80,000. To start off today's review, we're gonna take a look at what powers this Z71. Underneath the hood, you'll find the 5.3 liter V8. This is paired with the 10 speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 355 horsepower around 5,600 RPM and 383 pound-feet of torque around 4,100 RPM. This has the full-time four-wheel drive system. It weighs in right around 5,600 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in just under seven seconds, up to its top speed of 140 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 24 gallons. You'll expect to see around 15 miles per gallon in the city and 20 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 120.9 inches. Its overall length is 210.7. It has a width of 81, a height of 75.9, and its ground clearance measures in at eight inches. And as we work our way to the exterior now for this Tahoe, you'll see on this particular model, the front end is mainly finished off in gloss black. It's a really nice contrast against this exterior white. You'll see front and center, we do have the Chevy bow tie finished off in chrome for the surround. And there's also a forward facing camera along with all the parking sensors in the lower section of that gloss black. You'll notice too that we have the skid plate up underneath along with the red tow hooks. And this also has LED headlights along with the DRLs and turn signals. You'll see the headlights and high beam housings have a really nice design to them. And then the turn signal and the DRL wraps around that bodywork there. You'll also notice too that there is a little bit of white running between the gloss black just to break it up and still give it a great look. And there's also really nice lines that run down the hood. You'll see there is functional air inlets on both sides too, just to help provide better aerodynamics for this vehicle. And then as we work our way to the side, this has a really nice set of 20 inch wheels. You'll see they have a two-tone design to them along with a multi-spoke design. We have the body colored side mirrors. They are gloss black on the lower section. We have the integrated turn signal along with another camera. Up on the roof, this has the full moon roof, which is really nice option to have. You can see all the window trim is blacked out. We have a set of side steps just to make it much easier to enter and exit. And you can see there's really nice lines that run down the side. We have the fender arches, the lower section of the door there, and also one just above the height of the door handles there, just to give it a really nice proportional design. This is a very large SUV. You can see the glass in the back along with more of that bodywork, but it blends in nicely and really gives it a great look. And then in the rear, you can see the body colored spoiler along with the integrated third brake light. The wiper blade is also hidden up underneath there just to give you a little bit more visibility. You can see Tahoe right in the middle of the power lift gate. This has the backup camera with all the parking sensors. You can see all the trim in the lower section. This can also tow up to around 7,700 pounds. So now let's go ahead and work our way to the rear cargo area. Now on this Tahoe, you can open up the glass or you can open up the lift gate. You have two different buttons on the key fob. If I double tap the one on the bottom, that will automatically release this glass. Of course, you can use the button that's located up underneath the E there. But with that open, you can see you get quick access to what's behind the third row there. And then of course you can use the button on the key fob or the one up underneath and we can open up this electronic lift gate. And you'll get a better view at the amount of storage that we have behind the third row when those seats are up. So you do have a decent amount of space. You can have this vehicle packed full of people and still put items in the back. There's also a little bit more hidden storage space up underneath the floor if you need to utilize that. And then over on this passenger side, you can see there is a three prong outlet and we have some controls for the second and the third row. So just by pushing on the bottom of these buttons, you can see the third row automatically fold down. You can do that over on the driver's side as well. And you can use those buttons to bring them back up. It's a really nice convenient feature to have. So now you can get a look for all the space you have behind the second row. Now, if you need to go ahead and fold down the second row, you can just push on this button. You'll see that seat automatically fold down and collapse. You can do that on the driver's side as well. And then before I hit the second button for those, we'll take another look at all of the space, a very, very usable SUV. If you tap on this button again, it will actually pop up the bottom of the seat there. So now if you were to enter from both sides, you have better access. If you need any better storage area with those up, it's very versatile. And again, the third row is automatic to fold those back. The second row is manual from where they are right now, but it's really nice to have those buttons in the back. You can also see we have some tie down hooks on both sides. 
and there's even an area for a cover so you can place that in if you need to and then up top being the power lift gate we have that control that we can push on and it will automatically close and you'll notice too on the rear door handles you can actually lock and unlock the vehicle so if you're putting your kids in the back or you have groceries it's really convenient on this door panel, you'll see we have a really nice two-tone design with the wood trim in the upper section. You can see the brush finish on the release handle along with that surround. We have a split design for the storage and this also has the Bose audio sound system. And with that second row currently folded up, it's time to work my way into the third row now. And you'll see at five foot 10, I definitely have plenty of room. Now I can fold this seat all the way back and bring this backrest all the way up. And you'll see with that seat currently almost all the way forwards, I have plenty of room for this third row. So it's really convenient. I have about two or three inches above my head. Honestly, I could ride around town. I could be back here for a good bit of time. We have a cup holder along with the USB-C so you can charge electronics. This is a three seater for the third row. You can see we have plenty of space. We have the air vents up in the roof there too. Now to get this seat back to where it was, there is a button over on the side. So that's all you need to do in order to lift this up. And you can see real quick, we do have it in the flat position there. So you could use it as a foot rest if you wanted to. If I push on this again, it will go all the way back up and then you can easily exit the vehicle. And then onto the second row seating now, you can use this control right here to move the seat forwards and backwards. And then you can use this one to get it in that position in order to hop into the third row. So it's nice to have it there or that button just depending on how you want to use it. Now we have that side step along with a grab handle so it makes it very easy to enter the second row. And you'll see too with the front seat set at my height and this seat all the way forwards, I still have plenty of room. So if you have someone in that third row and you need to give them some more space, it doesn't really sacrifice the room that you have for your second row. Now if I have it all the way back, you can see how much more space I have. We have a little bit of storage behind both front seats. You'll see right in the middle, we have cup holders. We even have the third zone that you can adjust with the fan speed and the temperature. You have where you like the air to go along with the heated seats. Really nice to see that. There's also another three prong outlet down below. And then with the seat all the way up, you can see I have a few inches above my head. If I pull on this other button, we can go all the way back and recline. So it is very spacious for the second row. You definitely have a lot more room and versatility versus the third row. Right in the middle, we have the armrest along with two cup holders, a little bit of storage space. So you could place your phone upright or some other smaller items, which is great to see. You can also get another look at the difference between all the way forward and all the way back. We have the air vents on both sides because we have the moon roof right here in the middle. Definitely provides a lot of light. So very nice for the second row. Now, before we work our way to the front row, this model does have remote start. So on the key fob here, along with the other buttons, you can see we have lock, unlock, those other two for the rear lift gate. If I lock the vehicle and then double tap this button here, it will automatically start right up. So it's a really nice feature to have. And then with the vehicle locked, if I walk up, the front doors have that same button. You can just push on that to unlock it. Where you'll see the door panels finish off just like the rear one. We have the addition of the side mirror adjustments along with the memory seating adjustments. You'll see the window controls, the same storage design and one of the speakers. And then as we work our way to these seats, you'll see we have really nice leather along with the bolsters and the stitching running down both sides. You can see the base of it is also another color. So we have a two-tone design going on. These are also power seats. So we have all those controls. And now it's time to work our way in. We have that step, which makes it very easy. And then with the steering wheel here, you'll see it's covered in leather, has more brown stitching on the inside here. Just gives it a really nice design, especially against this exterior white. But let's go ahead and start this up. So the engine start stop button is over on the right side. With my foot on the brake, we can bring this to life. And looking at this digital gauge cluster, you'll see currently over on the left side is the compass, right in the middle is the navigation, on the right side it shows what driving mode you're in, and then running across the bottom you can see your fuel along with your range and then your engine temperature. But right in the middle there's a lot of information you can go through. Using these controls over on the right side, you'll see too we have Bluetooth and voice commands, the volume controls are located on the back side. But if I scroll over, you can see your phone when you have that hooked up and paired. You also have your display layout. So currently it is in digital. If I click on progressive, now you'll see this entire digital gauge cluster change where you can see the miles per hour over on the left side. Your tack is now over on the right side. 
We can also go into classic where now you can see a little bit different of a view. If you don't wanna see any of this, you can put it to the clean setting or you just have your miles per hour. You can also change what you'd like to see within that left side and that right side. So currently again, you can see the compass. You can change that. You can change the right side along with the entire lower system here. You can make it a little bit smaller or a little bit larger just depending on what you'd like to see. You can also go through your trip information. You can look at a timer. You have your TPMS along with your driver assistance so you can monitor that. You can look at some other vitals too just to keep in check with all of that information. You also have the music. Over on this left side, you can see the cruise control settings along with your distance pacing. And behind this, we have the tuning for the radio. And then as we work our way to the left side of the steering wheel, you can see all the headlight adjustments along with a dimmer switch for the gauges. We have the four wheel drive settings. We even have the different driving modes. So just by using that toggle, you can see normal and sport. There's also off-road and a tow and haul mode too. You'll see that icon over on the right side there change just depending on the driving mode. Above that, we have the electronic parking brake along with the lane keeping assist and the parking sensors. This has the engine start stop feature, which you can turn on and off along with the downhill assist control. We have the power outlets located in the back as I showed earlier, and then a camera button. It's a shortcut. I'll get to that here soon. You can see the trim for one of the air vents along with more of the wood. And then as we work our way to the center, this screen here measures just over 10 inches. There's a lot of info you can go through, and this is basically a Google tablet. We have a lot of Google information that you can go through. There's also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's very sensitive to the touch as well, so it's really easy to go through all of this. You have your trailer lights, you can go into your climates when you have those on, of course, and go through all this information, where you like the air to go. You have the temperatures, front and rear, so you can adjust those too. If I go back to the home, you can look at podcasts, you can go into your Play Store. You can even pull up Google Maps when you have your phone paired, so you can go through all of that. You can look at your audio, you even have your radio, and then the map when you have that on and running. Over on the left side, there is a shortcut to the radio. You can pull up those Google Maps again when you have your phone paired. This one here is to go through your phone. So when you do have that paired, you can look at your Spotify, your messages, and various items like that. And then we do have a shortcut for the trailer system when you have a trailer on. Over on this left side, this is how you go between park, reverse, neutral, and drive. You'll see these cutouts too, which not only give it a good design, but allows you to be able to pull for reverse and drive. So there's drive, you push for neutral, you pull for reverse, where you'll also see the backup camera. We have a lot of different views. This is the forward facing camera. You can currently see the top down view over on the left side. We have a few different angles with the side view mirrors. You can also look straight down and then you can take away that top down view and pull everything up in full screen. And then you just push on P for park. You'll see we have a really nice trim piece running all the way around to the other side. Two air vents and some more leather are right in the middle. And then over on this passenger side, there is a little storage bin. You can see it's actually a pretty deep compartment, so you can place some items in there if you'd like to. We have the hazards. Working your way below that, you'll see power and volume for the radio. You can also use this dial here to go through the information up top. We have another home button and a back arrow. And then all the climate controls are nicely laid out. If you don't wanna use that system up top, you have the temperature for driver and passenger. Fan speed is right in the middle. You can easily pick where you'd like the air to go. We have a few other research controls. You can sync these two. And we even have the controls for the rear climate. So you can quickly adjust to the rear if you need to. You can see the heated seat controls on both sides. We have a wireless charging pad down below along with some more auxiliaries. So you can charge even more electronics if you'd like to. You'll notice too, we have some cutouts on both sides for extra storage. You'll see two cup holders right in the middle. And then working our way to the center armrest now, you'll see we do have a nice cutout here where you could place your phone. And then if I open this up, you'll see there's a massive amount of room. We have this removable and slidable tray if you need to move that or get it out of the way, along with a USB and a USB-C. And then over on the passenger side, you can see we have the glove box. Plenty of room for all of that information. We'll take one last look at these seats here. And like I mentioned earlier, we have the full moonroof, so you can see that from this location. We have the sunshade right in the middle, along with being able to open and slide the sunroof. You can see the dome lights on both sides. We do have some garage door buttons. This dial right in the middle is how you can have the rear lift gate to maximum three quarters or off. And then the buttons on both sides will actually fold down that third row. 
You can use them to put them back up too. So it's really nice and convenient. If you have people loading stuff in the back, you can quickly push on that. And then you'll see we have some OnStar buttons just in front of that. All right, so getting this all new Chevrolet Tahoe Z71 out on the road, I've actually been able to have a GMC Yukon for the week. So driving that back to back with being able to hop into this, it's very, very similar. So I have a lot of experience, I would say, or a lot of seat time in this vehicle because it is very similar to the GMC version. It's not quite as loaded, so if you're not looking for all those extra bells and whistles, this is definitely a great option. For me, it is a very, very similar layout, so I'm pretty familiar with everything and how everything works. I think one thing that I do love the most is that the fact that this center infotainment system here works really well with your phone for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can pull up everything from your phone on the system. And now as far as power goes, Give it a little bit of gas and for the weight and size of this vehicle we're up to speed i don't have any complaints with its uh, power output there you have plenty of power to tow as well if needed so honestly if you're looking for a vehicle that has this amount of size we have an eight seater vehicle so you can put in a lot of kids if you need to use it for transportation like that or you can even hook up trailers to this and tow so it's really cool to have the best of both worlds and then uh, moving over to visibility now for the size of this vehicle and driving around the GMC Yukon, it's very, very similar to this. It's been honestly very easy to see in all directions. So looking over my left shoulder, I can see out of that glass. Over my right shoulder, the pillar I would say is a little bit bulky, but even from the rear view here, I can see out of that side cargo window and it's also very quiet and comfortable. So having this as a daily driver would definitely be very beneficial. It's not loud, there's no road noise, wind noise anything like that and then as far as a quick turnaround here turning radius is pretty tight and so now as we switch over to the pov angle you can see what it's like to be behind the wheel of the all-new chevrolet tahoe we have a really nice layout for everything with the digital screens just gives it a great look i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera how high this vehicle sits even with an older truck like that passing us you can almost see over the roof line. So you definitely have a high seating position, which is great for the size of this vehicle. It's pretty easy to keep within the lines here, even for its size. Handles really well. You're going to expect some body roll for the size of it, which is to be expected, but it handles these turns well going at a normal rate of speed. As we come to a stop here, we'll take a quick look at visibility from this angle. So that way you can just get this perspective Pretty easy to see over that side. Same with this left shoulder here. And then we'll give it one last acceleration for today's video. And we are up to speed. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive, getting behind the wheel of the all new Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Once again, huge shout out to Carolina Auto Direct. They have the largest selection of almost brand new vehicles. Definitely check out their link down below. I've never seen another dealership with this amount of awesome inventory to see. So definitely check them out. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date with our daily uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video.